up guys key michael here and i am in italy <laughs> can you tell i'm excited i mean i just loved playing in italy the pizza the pasta the prosciutto the mozzarella the vino the brisola although i don't actually eat brisola prosciutto anymore because i took me out of my diet but that's beside the point <laughs> so many things to love here in italy including the volleyball <laughs> yeah there's just something so special about playing in italy I think it's the professionalism, it's the atmosphere, it's the level of volleyball, it's the love that you get from the fans. I ah, I just loved playing here. And I was just so, I was super lucky also to land in a team like Bussar Sitio, which what, had just come off winning the CV Cup, the Italian Cup and the Scudetto. Dream season. And then here I am, little old me, just like, Sneaking in the back door, not famous, not uh, particularly self-confident, uh, definitely not a big name player. I was a bit starstruck when I got here, to be honest. I had looked up to players like Valentin Arietti, for example, for years, and then boom, there I find myself teammates with her, which was amazing, but also kind of scary. <laughs> but, you know, an awesome player, an awesome person, and then, you know, find myself just going out for sushi on random Wednesday evenings with, with Vale. That's, I mean, that's the thing also about idolizing people, humans, players. At the end of the day, idols are just people who just happen to be really good at what they do. In this particular case, volleyball. Actually, yeah, no, you probably should continue idolizing players because without people to look up to and people to make into heroes, uh, sports would probably be pretty boring. So uh, yeah. <laughs> We're lucky that we have players like Valet to look up to. And don't ever stop dreaming about your idols because, you know, maybe one day they'll become teammates of yours too. And speaking of teammates, <laughs> this week I met up with one of my former teammates, Moose, aka Ali Franti. We played together in Malouse and she has played in Slovenia, she's played in France, Poland, and now Italy. And so, of course, I had to ask her what her favorite place to play in was. <laughs> And here's what she had to say about that. Okay, but playing in Italy, this, I, I have to say personally, I did love Malouse and I've played in a few different places, but for me, Italy was the spot for volleyball. I mean, I just felt totally welcomed by the fans, by the team, by just, just the culture of volleyball in Italy is something so special. Mm -hmm. Have you found that here? Do you, do you, are you, have you fallen in love with it? Not just for the food and the wine? Yeah, yeah, no, I definitely, I think, this culture really embraces volleyball. Mm -hmm. Like it is a different, different vibe. Um, I remember the second, no, it was actually the first day I got here, I was just roaming the streets and somebody shouted my name right. on the street and I couldn't believe it. I was like, I just arrived. Like, and I, I was like, there's no way somebody's saying my name right now. And then I yeah. turned around and they're like, oh, and I was, you know, yes. I, I couldn't believe it. So yeah, I definitely think that they are super pumped. You know, it's unfortunate that we have no fans right now or we have like less fans, mm -hmm. but um, I still think that there's a huge following here and people are it really pumped It feels so about good, it. right? Yeah, oh, it feels great. I yeah. know people would just line up even for training and I'm not even talking about after a big game or, you know, in the stadiums. Literally at training, we'd have people waiting outside of our practices to get an, to get an autograph or or you know a hug or anything, wow. any just any contact with us. And I just remember thinking, oh my gosh, I'm I'm such a star. I've you made are. it. You are Kiki. Yes, I've you are. made it. <laughs> yeah, Italy is not so bad. <laughs> But Moose is such a sweetheart and so humble and such an awesome player. And it was really fun just hanging out with her again. We've been friends for a few years now and I will link here the full video of the entire day we spent together in Chieti. If you want to check out the full podcast episode, you know where to find it. Spotify, Apple, iTunes, 
Stitcher, wherever you get your podcasts. And in it, we discuss why she chose Penn State, how she deals with self-doubt and that kind of thing, some of the weirdest fan interaction she's ever had, <laughs> and also why Finding Nemo is actually a horror film. I didn't know either, but according to Moose, it's the scariest movie she's ever seen. <laughs> oh, and we will also discuss why I call her Moose. If you want to hear that story, it's kind of funny. It's on the podcast. If you guys want to meet more players just like Moose, you guys know what to do. Just leave it in the comments and subscribe so you won't miss the next video. Hit the like if you want to, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Ciao, bella. Thank you.